what does that say? I notice that they ask a lot more questions about sexual stuff than that. So you just have to be sort of honest, but not too honest with them. No. If he asks me uh, something about it, I'll tell him. Um, you know, perhaps when he's 13, something like that. Um, but at, at the moment, I'm waiting for the school to, to tell him. <laughs> One of the things that always really kind of gets me is that a lot of parents seem to think that it's the school's responsibility to, you know, educate children in that way. And I think it's got a lot to do with what you as a parent actually teach them. Parents can feel very embarrassed very uncomfortable and really want to avoid the subject of sex because it's something they don't quite know how to respond to. I think babies come from mum's tummies. It's about openness right at the beginning, the minute children ask questions, respond to them shortly and clearly in the same way that you would about everyday items. As long as you use the correct terminology for them and that you support the child, then they're happy with what you give them. Kids become aware of sex very, very early on. If we as parents feel uncomfortable, then we can sometimes transfer that to our children. And the thing that we want to avoid is their feeling that there's a whole section of life that they're not able to ask questions about. It might be worth thinking about just saying, for example, that mummies have an egg and daddies have a special seed. And you might want to use words like sperm. And they get together when they love each other. Something as simple as that. Ethan. I don't believe in getting loads of books out and maybe taking it too far. But if you talk it every day with them and if they ask the question, answer it. <laughs> 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 I think when questions arise on sex education, you really have to answer them honestly and simply and directly and uh, not make them think that there's something strange and unnatural and really needs to be brushed under the carpet. It's a good idea to start introducing biological terms really early on. If nothing else, it helps us feel comfortable. So by the time they start asking those questions that we feel uncomfortable about, we're used to saying things like vagina and penis, which perhaps we might not usually say. Children will ask the questions they need the answers to. Once we've responded to that answer, they might go away quite happily. Or they then might trigger another question, then answer that question. You don't have to give them the whole story. Just respond to the bits at a time as they ask.